coding made easy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ SML 2.0 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning about distance-based collision. So distance-based collision uh, heavily follows um, trigonometry and the Pythagorean theorem. So if you guys haven't been paying attention in school, then tough luck for you. In graphics programming, math and physics uh, plays a lot, so pay attention to math class. Now, I'm getting rid of the bottom left, right, and top. I'm getting rid of the updates um, right here. Um, I'm going to be changing this to a circle shape. Uh, so you can, because uh, we're mainly going to be using this for uh, circle-based collisions. And uh, instead of size, we'll put radius. And we'll change the set radius. And so right here, we'll just set the radius to 10. And get rid of this. Okay, so I have created a diagram right here. So we have two circles um, that we want to collide with each other, right? And if we look at our triangular representation, uh, the green line represents the hypotenuse. Now, how do we get the, um, the value of the hypotenuse? Well, we get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So one side could be... Um, it's going to be hard to do this with my touchpad and everything but this is a b and to side c so to get this line we have to do a squared plus b squared and that'll be equal to c squared so that's how the pythagorean um theorem works and this line uh we want to get this line so we can find out how far apart they are from each other okay and so how are we going to do this? Well, um, let's take a look. So I'm going to erase this right here. And what we're, we're going to need the math library. So I'm going to say include CMath. Okay. So we're going to say the square root of the power of uh, circle. Oh, I should change the circle. And I should change um, to control H. Um, okay, so I've changed them all to circle. So we'll say circle, the power of circle dot get position dot X subtract P dot circle dot get position dot x to the power of 2 plus the power of and let me put this below plus the power of circle dot get position dot y subtract p dot circle dot get position dot y to the power of 2 is greater than or equal to a uh, circle dot radius get radius plus p dot circle dot get radius then there is no collision otherwise there is a collision so let's check what's going on so our a our a is equal to our circle our player one's x subtract our players to dot x position right our b is equal to our player one y subtract our players to y position okay and um our c uh is the radius player one radius plus player two's radius okay so in order, we want to get the value of C. So how do we do this? Well, the Pythagorean theorem looks like this. So we say A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 
So in order to isolate C, we need to take the square root of these values, right? Remember, what you do to one side, you do the other side. The opposite of the power is the square root of. So we take the square root, um, or like, like we t the the opposite of the power of two is a square root. If you had a power of three, it would be to the third root, so on and so forth, right? But since we have to the power of two to find the opposite, we do square root on both sides, right? Which will basically cancel this out, right? So we do the square root of this, and we put it like so. And that will give us a value, and then that value will give us um, the value for C, right? So if that value is greater, oh, sorry, right, it should be like so. So if our value is greater than or equal to the radius of both of them, that means that they're, they're not colliding. Right, that means they're not touching. So that means what that what this is saying is, uh, if I open up Paint right here. So if it's anywhere, sorry. So if it's, if it's anywhere on the outside of the next circle, right? So even if they're, oh, this is horrible. But let's even if they're touching, right? Let's like let's just see like assume they're touching right here, right? So even though they're touching side, uh, like they're close, like they're almost touching, if we look at it, let's say the radius is 10, right? So let's, what's 10 plus 10? 10 plus 10 is 20. So if our C, if the distance whatever is equal to 20 or whatever, greater than or equal to 20, that means they're not exactly touching whether they're close to touching. If the, if C, if the, whatever we calculate is less than the radius of both of them, that means that we are inside this circle. And uh, therefore, we have a collision. So what we're going to do is, instead of just writing collision to the screen, because that's kind of boring, we're just going to say player one circle, um, set color, set fill color. Uh, we'll change the color to uh, magenta. And uh, we'll set it right back to red, if anything. Okay, so now let's run this. Uh oh. Okay, so it's red. It's fine. When it hits the inside, oh, it should have changed, but it has, oh yeah. So as you can see, it does change at some portions, but we want to ch we want it to change uh, we want it to change right as it um, it touches the edge, not not part of it. So let let's see where we went wrong. So um, we said get y um, get position x, and we took the square root of both. Oh, that's why. Um, the square root is supposed to encapsulate these two values, right? It's not supposed to include the, the radius or anything, right? So, um, now that we got that fixed, let's run this one more time. So, once it touches it, it turns magenta. See, as you can see, they, they look like they're touching. They're pretty close, but in my opinion, they're not touching. It's up to you if you guys want the want it this to be considered a collision, but I don't see it as a collision. And anywhere around it that we touch it, it sees it as a collision. So that is it for this tutorial. You've now learned distance-based collision. If you want the source code, it is on my website. You can download it for free. Um, and yeah, so have fun. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye for now.